Hello from Someka. In this video, we will introduce you Africa Countries Heat Map Generator. We have updated our Africa Countries Heat Map with some additional features. I want to show you how you can create your own heat map within a few minutes. Let me show you what I mean, but before that, if you need to get some help from the page, you can follow our instructions by clicking turn on here or use without instructions. So that you can see the what I'm talking about from here. First section is where the heatmap is located. After finishing your arrangements on the page, you can visually display your data here. Second part consists of your data. We have placed population data of the African countries and the abbreviations of the bees. You will change by yours. Also, you can type your title here. Lastly, in the settings section, it's all about your heat map's appearance. Let's dive into each of them. We have defined five color scales to here. These colors indicate your value limitations. For example, when some data falls into the first range, it will be painted first color from the palette. But if you would like to see different color on the heat map, select one cell. Go to Home tab and change it from Fill Color. And this table is for your value limits. The country's color densities will be painted according to these limitations. In the Color and Legend part, you can change the color of background and the country border. Also, if you do not obtain any data for some countries or when the data is not the range of the limitations, you can paint them grey for example. And lastly about legend display, you can also show or hide legend information on the heat map like this. It's your choice. You can change it from this drop down. Lastly in the text setting parts, it's all about showing the names of the countries on the heat map, or not. So when you click no text, you won't see anything on the heat map, you will just see the colors. And when you click country names, the heat maps display country names to you. And when you click display text, you will get the, your text part on the heat map. For example, we use abbreviations of the countries, you can also change this part by yours. If I choose this option in blue, I will see the abbreviations of the countries on my heat map like this. Let's just go a little practice here by doing together. I want to open up another Excel workbook. It's a list of African countries GDP rates data of the 2017. Actually, I found this data online and sorted them alphabetically. Let me go ahead and just copy this data. and. Paste here as a value also. So, about my color density, I should define my value limitations. But before that, I'm just gonna go my own sheet again. And I have calculated my minimum and maximum values here before to define limitations. Again, I will copy off them. Paste here as a value also. And after that, I will come in here, let's select red one here and display text again and I want a black border color. Yes, I'm ready to paint it. Here the last view of the heat map. As you see, the new heat wave is colored according to my current values and the borders are the black as I do. In addition to this, you have a button here that says export as a PDF. And when I click on that, it takes me to the page where I can print the final view of the heat map. As you can see, you can use this final view for reports and slides. Lastly, you can make some customization on the heat map also. 
all the counter shapes are addable but before all I have to do this go to refill section click on protect sheet you will be worn like this right here your password about password it will be sent to you with our email now all these shapes are editable move it aside resize it and color it yellow for example so you can just copy this shape to your powerpoint slides and i highly recommend that you should check our other heat map templates from someka website thanks for watching